Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Now part of the channel, share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Reports are coming in from the counteroffensive that did start today. From what the reports are, it did not go very well. So there was a lot of casualties today there in Ukraine. Lots. Did not go well. They did not gain any territory. They lost pretty much a lot of the NATO weapons that they was using. So, as we feared that this would spark off a war soon. And the reason I say that, these countries are not pouring billions of dollars into there and going to accept these kind of losses. That's why I've warned you about the NATO exercises are taking place starting on the 12th to the 24th. Many channels are talking about the same thing. Let me tell you something. When you put that kind of money and resources into a war, you're not going to accept defeat, people. This all goes down to two nuclear powers. Three nuclear powers, actually. And it's just not going to end well. Because neither side wants peace. That's why people's like, Chris, why are you warning, warning, warning? Because I see the writing on the wall and I know my history. And I know the Bible. And I know how it's going to conclude itself. That's why. But definitely pray for all those families that lost loved ones today over there in Ukraine. That's one thing I, we need to do. There was a lot of people lost their lives. We don't realize just how many is losing their lives. How many young men and women are losing their lives over there daily. It's not pretty. As I said, this is not Ukraine and Russia or USA versus this or that. This is a spiritual war that's taking place and it's shaping up. But with all the things that's coming in today, it didn't look very good over there. So definitely keep all those families. A lot of families lost sons, husbands today. They've been losing them daily. And we need to keep them in our prayers. Then we're still our brothers and sisters over there. On both sides, okay? On both sides. And like I said, the outcome is not going to be pretty. And I don't mean to be preachy, but if we don't get through to the lost in these last days, we've not done our jobs. People should be scared. And no, I'm not trying to be snarky or anything like that. I'm just trying to let people know time is limited. It just truly is. And every day passes is another day closer that we're leaving. So, yeah, it's kind of like being on the clock. Sometimes you got to get preachy. And sometimes you got to tell people the truth that there is a hell. And that we got to get as many people on that boat as possible. The Bible tells us right before. All this stuff starts. We get into Revelation. because I didn't, That's where we are right now. We're gearing up for it. No, there's no seals or anything like that. That stuff don't come until we're out of here. But it's all building itself up. So I tell you, no fear. You Christians, you're ready to go home. You that are his sheep. The ones that I preach to are the lost. The ones that stumble onto these videos. We've got to let them know that, yeah, hell is real. We don't do enough of that anymore. We just don't. And we got to. That's one thing we've quit doing. We've quit preaching it. We've got to preach it. Jesus loves you. Hell is not created for you. It's created for de the devil and his angels. But you have free will to choose to be with them. And that's what we've got to stress to these people. And like I said, we see all the signs taking place as we speak. And this, which I knew that they was going to fail. And I knew this counteroffensive is not going to go well. Another thing that went under the radar, and I thought I'd bring it to your attention. There is an article that uh, Russia signed with NATO. And it's, called, it's, it's kind of like a, I don't know if you've heard about it. In World War II, uh, when that war got started... The German army used the Blitzkrieg, kind of, and they used all their forces. It was kind of like a shock and awe, and that's how they overwhelmed a lot of the forces 
when they went into Poland and places like that, they overwhelmed them. Well, NATO signed a contract with Russia years and years ago that they could never do that. That Russia could never, um, you know, amass a counteroffensive because NATO would be overrun. They know they would. They've got too many tanks on the ground. This is what the press don't tell you, what corporate media won't tell you. But they'll tell you that they're running out of weapons in Russia. I'm here to tell you they are not. They've got tons. They've got more tanks than any country in the world. Just long, The same as they have nuclear weapons. They have no shortage of weapons. Don't let these people tell you that they don't. They do. So they signed this agreement. And Russia has backed out on it. Now NATO's warning and throw, you know, and telling everybody and condoning what Russia's done. Now, Russia would only do away with this contract unless they're getting ready to do a huge counteroffensive. I'm here to tell you they are because I've seen it. And others have seen it too. This major counteroffensive will take the whole eastern, everything that Ukraine's taken back from the Russians will be taken back from Russia, will take it back from them. This time it'll be permanent. It will be a massive counteroffensive like we have never seen. Guarantee it. Mark it down. If we're not out of here before it happens, watch and see that I, what I'm telling you is the truth. That's why I get kind of preachy because I know what's coming. I've already seen it. When this counteroffensive takes place, they will join with Belarus. This is how they pull it off. I've seen it. Now, the thing is, they're moving all their weapons into Belarus. As I told you, that would happen months ago. And now it's actually starting to happen. Because in, the, in World War III, when it all starts, Belarus and Russia are together when this happens. And it's happening as we speak. That's why I know time is running out. People, these other channels can attack me all they want, but they will soon see exactly what I'm telling you. This major counteroffensive will come down from Belarus and from Russia on both flanks, and they will outflank Kiev. And they'll have no choice. They will lose all this ground. And then NATO will have to act, which brings on World War III, which will be devastation upon this planet. That's how I know we're close to the rapture, people. Seen it years ago, and I'm telling you, I'm watching it play out in real time. And I wish I was wrong. I really do. I wish I was. You know, I don't want to see anybody harmed. Nobody. But I know that this war is going to happen. I know the rapture is going to happen. There's no. I mean, it's already been written in stone. It's going to happen. But this major counteroffensive, now I don't know when it takes place, but it will take place uh, sometime probably in the summer or towards the fall that Ukraine will completely lose the country. It's going to happen, and NATO will have to move in and do something. This war is inedible. It's going to happen, and it will affect here on our homeland. That's why they're doing the surveys, people. They see this coming. They did a test run. Before Memorial Day, they had every senator. Why do you think they're giving them satellite phones? They're not doing it so they can call Mickey Mouse. They know this war's getting ready to happen. They know it. That's why, yeah, I love each and every one of you. Don't mean to be preachy to you. But I'm not being preachy to the ones that are saved. I'm being preachy to the ones that might not know God at all, and they've stumbled onto this channel. That's who I'm preaching to. Because they don't realize, because the media's not telling them what's going on. And if you do speak about it, they kick you off, drop your videos, all this stuff. But all we can do, like I said, is get on here and tell you what's going to come to pass. Now, why the Lord told so many of us about this event, I, I guess to warn you. But there just ain't just, I mean, there's plenty of us that's seen it. I have, I have gathered the information from almost 10 other people that's seen exactly what I've seen. Bonnie McCoy's one of them. 
She never knew my vision, or my dream, until she had it, didn't even understand it. But she saw the map of Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, and they was black. It was from the fallout. I knew what she was talking about. She had no clue. And then I stumbled into another man. He was a preacher, well-known preacher, actually. And he saw the same date that I saw, and he saw the outcome. There's been plenty of other ones. And plenty of other ones saw, actually, Russian and Chinese flags here on American soil. It's inedible, people. That's why the Lord's warned us. He warns us because he loves us. He's letting us know the rapture soon. I tell everybody, if you are saved, you're not going to, I mean, you're ready to go. Just all you got to do is just try to tell as many people how great Jesus is in the last days. But this thing over in Europe is, I'm telling you, it's like it's been real. Every day that I, I look and see what's going on over there, it's like it's just coming right off a movie script because I've already seen it. And a lot of people ain't going to believe me, but there's nothing I can do. All I can do is tell you what I've seen. But there's going to be a major counteroffensive. And I mean like nothing the world's ever seen. They're going to blow in there. That's what's going to happen. And Ukraine will lose the whole right side of that country. Belarus will come down from the north. Russia will come down from the south and from the west. And there will be no stopping it. And then NATO will have to get involved. That's what's going to happen. Many have seen it. But knowing this, I see how little time we have because I see it shaping up as possible. It could be slowed down. You know, like I said, I don't know. But the way it's going, it's going pretty quick. And it's coming right off the, like I said, it's coming off a script. And that's why sometimes I get a little preachy and everything because I'm trying to let everybody know their time is fading. It's fading, fading fast. The rapture is going to happen. Our time here is running out. Jacob's trouble is going to begin so fast. you got to understand, not only do we have that, we have Iran now with hypersonic missiles. Now, once they put a nuclear tip on that sucker... Israel's not going to allow that to happen, people. And neither is God. It's another sign of where we are. That's why I have the urgency that I have by coming on here day and night. If I, if I don't say what I'm seeing, I'm just as guilty. And I can't have that. I love each and every one of you. I don't care what country you are, what color you are, where you are. You're still my brothers and sisters, and if I don't tell you what I'm seeing, I'm just as guilty. The world's falling apart. I don't know if any of you watched that FDIC thing that was on Monkey Works the other day, which I'd watched it before and seen it before, about how they claim that on a weekend, on a Friday, the dollar will be gone. And, like I said, everything's setting up for the beast system. I mean, you have to be almost blind to not see all this stuff shaping up. And I see it a mile away. It's all there. It's all shaping up. That's why I get on here day in, day night, letting you know, let's pray and pray and pray for the lost. That's what we got to do. We don't give up. Just keep praying until we're out of here, till that hole opens up in the sky over top of our heads, and we hear that loud chauffeur that's going to cause the whole earth to quake. Imagine that. One huge earthquake all around the world. That's what's going to happen. It's not a coincidence, people, that he showed us Mars into the Beehive 44. Now, if you listen to Brother Aaron this morning, he actually did some videos. He's done a three-part series on Samson which is great videos, check that out. But it also revolves around the beehives too that Kim and many others have been seeing for years. The Lord is speaking, and he's warning and doing everything he can to wake us up so we know what's happening. Then add that with the 44 that I saw that's in the dream, and it just so happens to be clusters 44 with Mars going into it, and Mars represents war. He was letting us know, ain't it kind of coincidence? The beehive, the 44, 
All that takes place, okay? Three days later, all chaos upon this earth has started. It's not coincidence. The Lord warned us. There was a lot of people got on done videos that we was wrong, that that's not correct. But let me tell you something, people. The proof sound takes precedence over anything that anybody's saying. Because a lot of people want you to think that there is so much more time. You have time for everything, and I'm here to tell you, you do not. You do not. If you can't see what's happening in Israel, with Israel and Iran, what's happening in Europe, what's happening to the financial markets, people, 250,000 people got laid off today. They're being laid off in the hundreds of thousands. The dollar is losing its grip on this world faster than you can see straight. And let me tell you something. If America collapses, it just ain't America. Do you know how many countries revolve around the dollar? I'm talking a massive collapse. And let me tell you something. God bless these people out here, but they, are, they don't see it coming. They just don't. They don't see it coming, and they won't. And let me tell you something. That's why the rapture happens. Do you really want to be here when people can't go to Walmart anymore? Because that's going to happen. And when the running water quits running, the electricity stops running, because that's going to happen. You think that the pandemic was bad? You ain't seen nothing compared to this when it happens. Imagine the whole world collapsing at one time. That's about what it's going to be like. That's why I'm telling you. <sighs> That's why the Lord has done so much to get us on here to tell you how little time you have. And there's going to be tons of people telling you you got all the time in the world. You, you can either believe one or the other. Like I said, I don't gain anything from this. All I know is I love each and every one of you, and I want you to be ready for it. And so does the other great watchmen and watchwomen that's on here that's preaching to you there's no fear. And trying to get through to the lost that their time is limited. The time for the lost is always limited, as I've told you earlier. You're not promised tomorrow. And there's only two choices, people. You can either go two places. That's it. If you're lost on this night, call upon Jesus. He died on that cross for your past, present, and future sins. He did not create hell for you. That was for Lucifer and his fallen angels, but you have free will. Free will will take you to hell, not God. You have to make a choice. And trust me, Jesus is the right choice. You'll never have anything like you've had without Jesus. Jesus is it, people. There's nothing better than Jesus. And I'm trust me, if you just give him a chance, you'll never look back. Because this world ain't going to give you anything. It's evil, and it's falling apart day by day. But I'm here to tell you, mankind's time is coming to an end. You know, there's going to be plenty of people. Satan wants you to believe there's plenty of time. That's all he's ever done from the beginning. Is tell man, hey, you've, got, you've got this. You can be gods. What do you think he's telling the nations right now? Nuclear war is winnable. You can sacrifice all the populations. It's okay. They're just mouth eaters. Lucifer is everywhere, people. This war is against him trying to take out God. It's what Armageddon's all about. And we're just years away from it. I know I've had people say, Chris, you seem so confident about what you say. You know, if the Lord didn't come to me, and bring me into this stuff, and from all my studies, I wouldn't be saying it. But he's not just led me, he's led tons of people. The first sign was the video, if you go into the description box, it's the last video. Watch that video, that's the video that he brought to me. Spent two weeks trying to get it to me, never could get it. Everybody's asked, well, how do you know for sure? I, after he led me to that video that night on YouTube, I'll never forget it. You'll never convince me otherwise now. Because I've never had anything like that happen to me before. And I've been with God a long time. I've never seen him want me to watch something so bad as he wanted me to watch that video. It's the last video in my description box. Watch it yourself. As I said, you don't have to believe me. I'm just here to tell you that's the video he led me to. 
Tell me even what to type in. And I didn't even know what a jubilee was. Tell me to type in 40 jubilees. I'm like, what in the world am I? And bam, there was that video. That's how I know how limited time we have. So yeah, sometimes I'm going to get a little preachy on here. But I'm not being preached to the church. I'm being preachy to the lost. And hopefully some of these videos will make it after we're gone out of here. That people will get to still see them. I hope and pray that happens. So if I'm being preachy, it's not towards the church. The church is ready to go. You don't lose your salvation. You're saved, you're saved. You're ready to go out of here. If you love Jesus, you've accepted Jesus, you're ready to get out of here. That's it. You're ready to go. All you can do is just go to work and pay your bills up until we're out of here and try to save as many as you can. But there's still a lot of lost that come into these videos. That's who we got to reach and wake up. That's just where we are, people. That's just where we are. Like I said, I love each and every one of you. But I see this stuff unfolding so fast, it's almost like I can't even get the video out fast enough. And the news just keeps getting worse and worse. But that's expected. We know the rapture soon. All the signs are there with what's happening on the sun, the stars, the earth. All this stuff is happening all at one time. And Paul told us these things would happen. He told us. And here we are. And here we are. And like I said, Satan does not want us talking about the rapture. He does not want us telling you you have limited time. Because he wants you to think you've got all the time in the world. But if you're lost, like I said, you're not promised tomorrow. You could go out tomorrow and get hit by a car or whatever. So if you're lost, call upon Jesus. And here I'm telling you, you'll never regret it. You'll never regret it. I know that Satan wants us to think that we've got so much time and all we got to do is just go on being on and they'll tell you that and they're like, well, you know, you worship the rapture and everything and nope, I worship, worship Jesus. And I don't want to be here and I definitely don't want to be here anymore. Not with all this stuff happening and it gets worse and worse. I want out of here. I want to be with Jesus. And I hope you do too. And if you do, good news for you. We're there. <laughs> it's a good time for the church. The ones that are saved and with Jesus, this is the greatest time in history. We see it all playing out over in Europe and everywhere else. But there's a lot of stuff that's leading us to World War III. Every day that Ukraine loses more and more, and that's all that's going to happen, and then this great offensive will take place. Mark my words. It will take place. There will be a major offensive from Russia and Belarus. I can guarantee it. They're going to come down from the north and the west, and Ukraine will be swallowed up. And NATO will have to be involved, get involved. And it won't be like World War I and World War II, people. It just won't. I'm telling you. It'll be sudden, it'll be quick, and you won't see it coming. I've seen it. It happens very fast. That's why I'm on here day in, day out, because I love you. And I don't want to see anybody left behind. So yeah, there's going to be people who hate me, they're going to get aggravated, and I, there's huge channels that go against me as little as I am because Satan hates me but let me tell you something I love you now, I don't even care if you hate me I still love you and I don't want to see anybody left here during this because I've seen the outcome of it and it's horrifying <laughs> I'm sorry it's horrifying <sighs> so sad you know the Lord created this wonderful Wonderful place. So many unique things. Including us. And this is what we do with it. It's very sad. But like I said, heaven's a way better place. And when Jesus comes down here and reigns for a thousand years, you're going to get a taste of what it should have been like. And we're so close to it. 
Well, I won't bother you too much more tonight. I just wanted to give you an update of what I see. Like I said, you don't have to believe me. But know I love you. And I'm a watchman. And I'm watching the signs. And I see how it is building up. And that time is running out for the lost to choose a side. So understand when I'm getting preachy, I'm not preaching to the church. I'm preaching to the lost. Because on the slight hope that even once we're gone, these videos will still be here. And that the lost will find them. And they will be saved during the tribulation. And we know millions will. Them tribulation saints, boy. Tough breed of Christians there in those last days. But they will, they will do a great job. The Bible tells us so. Until next time, love each and every one of you. Like I said, leave your prayer requests in the, in the bottom of the videos. And try to reach as many people as you can, as always. Just tell them how great Jesus is. Tell them, tell them what Jesus did for you and what all the great things that Jesus brings to your all's relationship. Because they need to hear it. And they need to hear it more now. Give your testimony. Do whatever you can. Like I said, start your own videos. Do, do your thing. But right now, the world needs to know how great Jesus is while we are still here. Until next time, if I don't see you here from you again, I'll see you in heaven.